cold day and it's been snowing. So I'm working on air guns in the shop. And today I finally took my 2014 production Benjamin 392 apart to work on the valve. I'll show you what I've done already. See the valve unscrews. And from the factory. See this is the this is where the the screw threads in to hold it in place. And 180 degrees away from that is the exhaust valve, or exhaust port, I should say. And you see it has two O-rings. Normally it only has this one back here, but I've read about a, uh, a modification where you put it in a lathe and cut it an additional groove on this side to put in an additional O-ring. And I just did that on my mini lathe. So that's supposed to increase the efficiency of it by not allowing air to es escape in this direction when you fire it. So we're going to see how that works. I've chrono tested it before and I have a video somewhere around here to add to this. So we'll see what it does. But uh, I might not add it to this video. I don't know. But right now we're just talking about uh, what I've done. Here's the exhaust valve poppet. You can see it's got a little bit of corrosion on it. I've been keeping it pumped up all the time. And uh, so if it weren't pumped up, the thing probably wouldn't be holding air now with that corrosion in there. And uh, I don't know, I probably need to oil it a little more often, which I do oil it fairly often, but uh, I live in a very humid environment here. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do, there's the check valve that goes on the inside. And what some people do is cut about a quarter inch off the back of it to increase the uh, volume inside the valve. And I'm not going to do that, at least not right now, because that would increase, you know, maximum performance, but it would require more pumping. What I want to do is require less pumping. I'm pretty pop, uh, pretty uh, pleased with the uh, the performance of it at eight pumps, but what I want to do is make it uh, get as close to that as possible at only five pumps or maybe six pumps. So I'm not going to reduce the length of the check valve at this point anyway. But you saw what I did here. Hopefully that will increase the efficiency a bit. And the other thing I'm doing is from the factory these things just have a they have a fairly stiff spring that acts on both the poppet valve, exhaust valve, as well as the check valve. Now older Benjamins had a, a washer in there that uh, used two springs. It used the, the standard exhaust poppet, poppet spring and then it used a much lighter spring for the check valve. And This is a mod that I've seen online so I'm going to try it. And uh, there's a step in there. And if you get the right size of washer, you can get it to set on that step and take the force of the valve poppet spring. And on the other side of it, you put a much lighter spring. And I haven't dug out another spring to put in there yet, but I've got a bag of assorted springs. So. It shouldn't be any problem to find one that'll fit. But this is the perfect washer, I believe, to use in it. 
it's a brass washer, brass valve. Of course, a steel washer will work too. But uh, since I did find these brass washers, I decided to try one of, one of those. It's a Hillman brand, and I got it at Lowe's. It's a number 10S, 10 Sierra. So you can go to Lowe's or you can buy the Hillman washers online. In fact, I guess I'll, if I can find a link, I'll put a link down in the video description, description where to get one. Now the third thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the head space where this screws together. See these late model 392's do not have an adjustable piston but what you can do is have the thing screwed apart just a little bit farther which will move since it's secured at the back of the valve it will move the forward portion forward and decrease the head space as you unscrew it. So what I'm going to do, and I've got this O-ring assortment here, so I'm just going to put an additional O-ring in there before I screw it together to provide a little more, uh, hold it a little further apart, you know, while still sealing it. Once I do all that, I'll do another chrono test with various num numbers of pumps and see how well that works. So stay tuned.